Today we're going to be reviewing some products from Spartan's Den. We got the beard shampoo, the beard conditioner, the beard balm, and the beard oil. Take a look and see how I use them. What's good everybody? It's your boy named Matthews and I'm back again with another video, man. I know y'all been missing me. I skipped out on you guys for about two or three weeks or so, but your boy's been real busy going in and out of town. I got some stuff going on here, working on some projects. I got to go to work, do this, do that and everything. But one thing I have been doing is staying in contact with these beard people, um, these beard companies and things like that. Um, so I partnered up with Spartans Den and they sent me over some products. So I'm going to show you guys. They sent me some beard shampoo, the beard conditioner, the beard balm, beard oil, and they even sent me a brush. It's got their logo on it and everything like that. Yeah, I don't know what type of wood this is made out of, but it does seem like a cool looking brush. Only thing is, um, I don't think I can actually get no use out of this. By the way, they sent it in a, um, a little sleeve here with their branding on this as well. So it's a nice little, little package. They got everything you need, especially if you're just getting started. My beard is just a little too long to be using this. I don't think it's really gonna get underneath the skin and untangle the hairs like I need them to. So it's a cool little brush, but not for me. Um, it does work pretty good on the mustache though. I'll tell you that much. Uh, the reason I can't really use the brush though is because I started with a brush. When my beard was short, started off with this brush right here. Used to always brush it down. And I graduated to the comb, used the small side of the comb. Was combing it down a little bit. Then I had to flip it over to the big side. Hair was getting too long, getting too napped up in there. Then I started going underneath picking it out and now at the point I'm at in my beard growth right now I've been using a pick for the last two or three months or so and this has been working pretty great yeah it's a plastic comb I know they say wood is better but I looked up the prices for the wooden combs and I think it was kind of uh, expensive for a comb so I kind of passed up on that but um yeah this has been working for me but anyways what I'm gonna do for you guys is use these products right here I'm gonna use them in the sink I've already used them twice already because I told you I've had them for about two weeks now um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how they work. So right here, the ingredients in the shampoo, this is what you would use first, of course, and then the conditioner. It contains water, argan oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, aloe vera gel, jojoba oil, and a bunch of other things that I do not know what they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that list right here. There it is. Gives you a little bit of directions right here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to wet our beard up and apply this. Um, last I remember, it took me about two pumps, two pumps to uh, make it feel like it's enough for my beard. So I'm going to go ahead and run this water. Got my towel here. I'm going to get my beard nice and wet. All right. So go ahead and wet the beard up. just lined up my beard a little while ago but I haven't put anything in it so this is gonna be a, a, a fresh video right here all right so my beard is not soaking wet like it would be if I was in the shower but um it's wet enough I think so what I'm gonna go ahead and do show you guys this pump here <clears throat> it is a uh, very liquidy I don't know if you guys can see that I don't want to spill it as you guys can see I'm already kind of spilling it but it is very like watery. It's not thick at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the beard. And it does set up just a little bit. This is why I put more than one pump because you can see it looks like it's on the sides, nothing in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one more pump. So even though it's not thick and it looked very, very watery and runny, um, it still is producing a good amount of suds, especially for the little bit of damp water that I have on my face. So that's what it looks like when it's applied to the beard. Sorry for the lighting in here. I am recording with a good camera this time. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I only got two out of four light bulbs in this bathroom right now. So for, forgive me. All right, so now I got that, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out. Mm -hmm. 
So after the beard shampoo comes the beard conditioner. Now looking at the ingredients of these things, I was kind of confused as to how a lot of these products can have the same ingredients in them, but do different things. For example, um, well, we'll get to it, but like the, the beard conditioner, the beard shampoo and the beard balm, they all have like the same oils. They're just a few extra things that I guess that was in the shampoo that's really going to strip everything. But if it's supposed to strip your beard of everything, I don't really understand how, you know, it's kind of complicated for me to understand. But with me being using it, I think it does work. I just can't really explain to you guys exactly the difference between each one. Anyways, we're going to use this next. This is the beard conditioner. It says right here on the front to repair, grow, strengthen, and soften the beard. There we are. Um, list of ingredients on this. Same, pretty much the same. Water olive oil, argan oil, um, glycerin, and or is it shea oil, and a whole bunch of other things I don't even know. Uh, sunflower seed oil or saf safflower seed oil. i um, show you guys the list right here. So there it is, a list of ingredients of the conditioner. There it is, the instructions right there. Shampoo and rinse beard thoroughly. Apply this, leave it in for two minutes, and then rinse it out. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I know this is actually thick. This is more like lotion. As you can see, this is not liquidy. It's not going to, you know, drop out. It's not, it's not very runny at all. So this one is actually like a lotion. So with this and the, the amount of hair I have in my beard, I still feel comfortable using two pumps. So I'm going to go ahead and use two pumps right there. Rinse it all or put it on to my beard. Make sure I get it all up underneath to the skin and everything. Now, as you guys see in the directions, it says let it sit for about two minutes and then rinse it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Two minutes later, ready to rinse this out. Go ahead and throw some hot water in it. As you can see, it kind of got some type of bubbles or... It is kind of sudden up a little bit too. Thought it disappeared for a second, but it came back. Go ahead and throw some water on this towel again. So, now that we shampooed and conditioned the beard, only thing left to do is either apply is one or the other. You're not supposed to do both, or else you're pretty much going to be wasting product. Um, either apply the beard oil or the beard bone. Now let's see the ingredients in each of these. So the ingredients on the front, uh, I guess those are the main ingredients for the beard oil, it's jojoba and vitamin E. But looking on the back, it says it contains vitamin E, apricot oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, pumpkin seed oil, and fragrance as well. Even though it's listed as classic, um, I don't know what that fragrance is, if it's classic. I think, oh, I do remember speaking with whoever I spoke with um, from the company. They told me all their products right now have their signature scent. Um, it's kind of hard for it to, to honestly say it's the signature scent. It does smell good, but it doesn't really smell like, like wow, that's amazing. Um, it smells more like the natural smell of the oils, which makes sense for it to say classic. So it looks like the main ingredients in the beard balm is the coconut oil and vitamin E, but there are some others. The full list is on the back. It says vitamin E, aloe vera, cocoa butter, coconut oil, apricot oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, grapeseed oil, so soybean oil, pumpkin seed oil, sunflower seed oil, and or not sunflower seed oil, but sunflower oil and beeswax along with their classic fragrance. I've told you I've actually been using both of these already for quite some time. I told you I've had it for I've been actually going back and forth with this and not to really uh throw my product in the video but I did tell you guys I was working on my own stuff and I've been using my own um beard balm as well. Take a look at this one. I've been using a, quite a bit of this you know, I've been going back and forth because I pretty much made my own around the time that this other one was sent to me. But we'll have a video on this one um, later on. In the future, I'm still working on it right now. But yeah, I do like this one. Smells pretty good. You can tell the main ingredient is coconut oil because um, 
looks pretty light versus the one that I had. It's a little bit darker, but when it's not really a compare video. Um, I do like this, and I do like this, but I've showed you guys. i got to plug my stuff again one time. I've been using my own oil for quite some time. Um, so you guys have seen me apply oil and stuff for a while. So I'm not going to use this one today. I'm going to show you guys how to apply this because I've never done a, video, done a video on Beard Balm. So what you do is you want to get a little finger full. About, let me see. Boom. I like to put some shine to mine. So I fill up my whole finger with it. Maybe I'm not supposed to be putting this much, but for the, the size of my beard, this is the amount I like to put. It puts some shine onto my beard and everything like that. So what you do is just rub it in, and it kind of just disappears into your hands, makes your hands shiny and whatnot. You can just go ahead and rub it on. I like to push it up against the way that I comb it to make sure it gets underneath every hair and actually hits on my skin. When the excess I feel I have on my hands left, I'll go ahead and rub it on my head. Rub it on my face. It's all good for you. I mean, if it can go on, if it can go on your beard, I'm pretty sure they expect it to get on your face. So that's why I go ahead and rub the excess on my head and everything. Moisturize the skin up. It does pretty good. I really do like it. Now, after you have the product applied, go ahead and style it to your desire. Once again, I said I use this pick. Instead of uh, before, when I used to use the comb, I used to just comb it down. But I don't like the way it was looking when it goes down. So I kind of pick it out now to make it pop off my face a little more and make it look pretty full. Boom. And there we go. Hopefully you guys can see it pretty good. But yeah, I think it puts a little bit of shine onto the beard. Definitely makes it soft, as you guys can see this here. It's nice and fluffy. It's not all hard or anything like that. And yeah, so this has been my review of the Spartans Den collection. I think it's real cool that this company pretty much does some of everything they have, pretty much all that you would need uh, for a starter kit, um, except I don't think they have a comb, which would be cool if they had a comb. But you know, they got the, the brush that you need, they got the oils, they got the balms, they got the shampoo and conditioner, which is stuff that you really do need uh, if you plan on having a beard for a long time, if you really want to style it and take care of it and not have it all brittle and falling out. So, uh, Big shout out to the people over here at Spartans Den for sending this stuff to me. Like I said, I've never before in my life have ever tried any um, oil, or I've had oils, but any beard conditioners and shampoos like that. So this has been my first test of anything like this. I do like it, as well as my first time ever having any beard balm, and I really like this stuff as well. Um, it's not too thick, not too runny or anything like that. Just evaporates right in your hand, or not evaporates, but you know, melts down right in your hands, and it goes into the beard real good. Nice little smell to it, nothing significant like I've said, but it does get the job done.